Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarbal Fateh. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace Egyptian Armed Forces Commander in Chief of the Navy, Rear Admiral Ahmed Khalid Hassan, as well as a number of senior naval and aviation officers who are visiting Bahrain for the occasion of the joint military drill with the Bahrain Defense Force, Hamad II, held in the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the visiting delegation and expressed his appreciation for their participation in the joint military drill. Hamad II, who which is regarded as one of the most important exercises carried out by the BDF along with the Egyptian armed forces. His Majesty the King also expressed his deep appreciation of the efforts of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi for his role in bolstering the bilateral relationships and establishing the basis of joint collaboration which serves the interests of the two countries. His Majesty affirmed that holding such drill reflects the depth of the excellent mutual relations between the two countries that continues to witness developments in all areas, especially the defense and military field. He stressed that the armed forces preserve the safety in both countries and protect society from destructive ideologies due to the role of the military training in maintaining benevolent values and principles. During the meeting, His Majesty highlighted that the first delegation for education was the Egyptian delegation, which came in 1919 that started the education process in the region, adding that Bahrain's strength lies in the abolishing illiteracy. His Majesty noticed, noted the importance of such joint drills that aim to enhance cooperation and joint military coordination and contribute to the exchange of expertise in military fields to improve combat abilities to face various challenges. Challenges. His Majesty highlighted the strategic and security status of Egypt in the Arab nation, noting the joint characteristics, history and civilization of the two countries. He wished the Egyptian delegation success during its visit to the kingdom. Royal Bahrain Naval Force RBNF Commander Commodore Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he welcomed His Majesty the King and the Egyptian delegation. He explained that joint military work is a important considering the regional challenges. He stated that the drill comes under the directives of His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President to enhance and solidify historic and bodily relations between the two countries. He expressed appreciation for the contributions of the Egyptian Navy in supporting RBNF since its establishment. He added that the goals of the drill regarding military cooperation strategy had been achieved. He thanked His Majesty for the meeting, wishing him abundant health and the kingdom and Egypt for their safety and security. For his part, Egyptian Armed Forces commander expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty, hailing the deep-rooted ties between the two countries. He stressed the success of the drill, hailing the development of Bahrain Defense Force in various military fields and expressing pride in the participation of the Egyptian Navy in the drill. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired a meeting today that discussed the restructuring of the government bodies for the next phase in line with the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The meeting went over work plans and executive programs in accordance with specific priorities and a timetable in a manner that increases government productivity and halts inflation that should be avoided for the upcoming phase. His Royal Highness Prime Minister reviewed a number of ideas and options that aims for the decrease of government ministries and authorities number as well as the merger of those bodies without the obstruction of the government work plan it had committed itself to to achieve the future economic vision of the kingdom. His Royal Highness directed to the formation of a committee under the chairmanship of Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa for the study of a number of recommendations and submit proposals for their implementation.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Rafah Palace, Acting Assistant of U.S. Secretary of State for the Near East Affairs Bureau, Surat E. Jones, in the presence of His Royal Highness's son, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the occasion of participating in the regional forum of the American Chamber of Commerce in the Middle East and North Africa. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of strengthening cooperation among key international partners to support and advance regional development goals to achieve long-term stability. He also stressed the importance of enhancing Bahrain's strategic partnership with the U.S. in order to address the challenges facing the region. His Royal Highness welcomed Ambassador Jones and his participation in the biennial American Chamber of Commerce Regional Forum, noting that the gathering plays a key role in promoting economic and trade partnerships with the U.S. He affirmed Bahrain's commitment to working closely with the U.S. around shared interests, including defense and security, to advance regional and international stability. A range of regional and international developments, in addition to the agenda of the biennial forum, were also reviewed during the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held today his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, son of His Royal Highness, also attended the majlis. The Crown Prince, who welcomed a broad range of visitors, including members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Council of Representatives and the Shura Council, members of municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists, and diplomats, accredited to the kingdom. The attendees expressed their appreciation for His Royal Highness's keen engagement with citizens by maintaining the commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions and national identity. The attendees also commended the efforts of His Royal Highness to reinforce the sustainable development of the kingdom under the development program initiated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as the government's efforts that deliver significant improvements to public services. Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met today with the Acting Assistant of U.S. Secretary of State for the Near East Affairs Bureau, Stuart E. Jones, present were Deputy Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Adil Al Fadl, Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan, and U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Rubak. The minister said the visit reinforces deep rooted relations between Bahrain and the U.S., noting the importance of boosting cooperation and coordination in all fields in general and in the security aspect in particular. The meeting also reviewed ways of serving both countries' interests in addition to discussing issues of a common concern. Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met today with the Middle East Gulf Working Party of the European Union, chaired by Roberto Storacci, in presence of Deputy Interior Minister Lieutenant General Adil Al Fadl and Assistant Undersecretary for Legal Affairs Major General Mohammed Bouhmoud. The minister said the EU delegation visit comes in line with the relationship of communication and exchanging views, commending Bahraini EU close cooperation. He said Bahrain is an open and united society that is committed to reinforcing national unity within the framework of the state of institutions and law, adding that the Interior Ministry is ongoing with its modernization efforts to deal with all security challenges. During the meeting, the delegation was briefed on the Ministry's efforts to preserve public security in orders and ensure the safety of all citizens and residents in addition to the seized weapons and equipment which were used in acts of terrorism, violence and sabotage. The Hamad II joint role continue after its first stage began today, carried out by a number of Royal Bahrain Naval Force ships and the participation of Egyptian Navy ships. The drill took place in the territorial waters of Bahrain and contained many joint exercises and tactical maneuvers in accordance with the sequence of the joint drill stages. The participating joint forces pres presented high skills in executing their command and combat tasks which reflected the high precision and quality in coordinating joint maritime operations. The drill aims to increase the level of coordination between Bahrain Defense Force and the Egyptian Armed Forces as well as to enhance joint cooperation and coordination and create an opportunity to exchange expertise in military fields.
Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah. Let's start with the local stocks. As Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,370.55 points, marking a decrease of 4.01 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the investment and insurance sector. Investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 59% of total shares. 55 transactions included 2,200,522 shares worth 433,636 Bahraini dinars. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce Mina Regional Council's annual forum opened today at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Bahrain. The two-day event aimed at promoting the expansion of trade and investment between the markets of the Mina region and the United States. More on this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain was chosen as the host for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce MENA Regional Council's annual forum starting today, gathering more than 300 high-level delegates from the U.S. and MENA governments, multilateral financing institutions, private sector companies, Amtime MENA representatives, regional U.S. business councils, and a broad range of international and regional business associations. The forum's theme was SMEs, Unlocking Economic Potential in the MENA Region. There are a lot of people who have ideas and we need to captivate these ideas and help them to grow them, uh, build companies, support them, help them with financing. Free trade agreement that we have with the United States offers an opportunity uh, of a market second to none for these SMEs to start sending their products and marketing it in the United States. The opening ceremony featured a number of high-level speakers addressing issues critical to enhancing economic relations and trade. The opening ceremony featured a number of high-level speakers addressing issues critical to enhancing economic relations and trade. Supporting the event are strategic forum partners, Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Bahrain Economic Development Board, and Tamkeen. The government is going to issue a new rule to, to help investors, entrepreneurs to override all the obstacles that they are facing. So the, the forum is, is, a, is a golden opportunity for us as officials, but also for, for youth to gain from this experience. Practices being showcased across multiple countries and also from the US is actually very, uh, very interesting and very important for the, for the participants. And it's something that we can learn from and, and, and develop. Workshops have been developed to support SMEs in learning new strategies and tactics to more swiftly realize their international business objectives. Big focus on how SMEs are really at the backbone of innovation, the backbone of kind of building any country. Businesses are bringing back uh, life to, to this region by focusing on the right opportunities for growth. They need uh, financial support, they need access to the market, they need uh, to scale up. Business to business networking sessions provided participants with the opportunity to directly engage with potential partners. Sectors in focus are financial services, industry, technology, retail, hospitality, real estate and others. The Amcham MENA Regional Council chooses Bahrain as the host for its annual forum this year, aiming to promote the expansion of trade and investment between the markets of the MENA region and the United States, focusing this year on unlocking the great economic potential of SMEs. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.